Hello Scorpio, welcome to your July reading for July 2019. I'm going to go ahead and start shuffling these cards. I was just doing some pre-channeling, pre-meditation work for you. July is going to be a big deal. It's, I mean, for everybody, it's going to be a lot of milestone events occurring with these two eclipses. People are going to be selling homes, buying homes, getting engaged, getting married, getting pregnant, having children. I mean, really everything, really important things. Also, we're in a Mercury retrograde cycle, so it's also going to be unfinished energies resurfacing so that they can end and complete so that we can all kind of just move on into the future and into happiness. Okay, Scorpio, what have we got for you in the month of July 2019? Now, remember that time spiral. So what that means for energy is that you can resonate with this reading now or whenever you're guided to watch this video. Okay, just cut the deck. Now we're going to deal up the Celtic Cross for you, Scorps. Incredible. Oh my God, absolutely incredible. Wow. Absolutely. I am in awe of what I'm seeing on my table for you right now, Scorpios. Oh my, and I thought Capricorns was going to be a Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness gracious. When I start before, when I do pre-channeling and I meditate, I'm usually like super energetically zoned out, you know, very, and it's almost like a sleepiness. And now I'm like completely erect and like wide awake for this. Um, okay. Let me get my bearings here. So the bottom of the deck card is usually my card, my gel, it kind of sets the tone for the whole reading, okay? So for us, the whole month of July, for you Scorpios, it's still about defending your boundaries and upholding your boundaries. I'm getting financial boundaries, emotional boundaries, psychological, mental boundaries, physical boundaries, every kind of boundary. You are holding on to your boundaries with everything you have, with your valor, with your courage, with your strength, with your grit, with your determination. You are holding on and thank God that you are because it is enabling you to close out a major life cycle, a major life cycle holding on to these boundaries. And okay, the first card right out the gate, it's almost like it floated down here. It was so weird. The world card. This is part of your cosmic reward for hard work done. And it has something to do with the boundary issue. It has something to do with upholding the boundaries, enables you to reap these karmic rewards, and you have them coming to you in the month of July. I'm connecting with a very, very high vibrational Scorpio right now who's able to really just, <laughs> I know my eyes are, who's able to really uphold their boundaries and who's, it's like you've learned so much so fast is what it feels like. It really feels that way. So crossing the world card, Scorpios, is the Wheel of Fortune card. This is what I feel is turning. You are turning your own Wheel of Fortune, like the gears. If you watch my dailies, you see the gears moving. And it's it's you closing out these karmic cycles is turning your Wheel of Fortune. And this there's something really, really lucrative about all of this. Not just like in the soul form, but I mean like physical, actual... Like this is going to lead to untapped potential. It's like you're really stepping into who you are, who you were always meant to be, Scorpio. And it's, it's, I feel like you've, you've been manifesting money and making money, but there's something about this energy and these eclipses in July that is going to set off a whole new, you're, you're being blasted into the stratosphere completely and it's it's because you're doing a lot of the soul work that's being asked of you by the cosmos the base of the situation scorpio i'm connecting with a scorpio in the month of july where the base the foundation of the situation has been the ace of pentacles pentacles and so this is a big opportunity for you this is a really big it's like an offer for a job or a leadership position or a new venture it's something came out of the sky, something kind of just came into your life and just like landed in your lap almost, where you were given an opportunity 
to create even to, to multiply this pentacle. This is like a big, the aces are the concentrated forms, the concentrated energies, the most powerful, most intense energies of the suit. So these pentacles are all just like hammered into one big pentacle and you are given the chance to make it multiply. You are given the chance to just watch it grow and just, right? And you are. It's a bright new beginning. Okay. The recent past, something that you recently did about the situation or an influence that you've, um, but you're still even feeling Scorpios in the month of July. As we go into the month of July, you are feeling the Ace of Wands. This is either very amorous energy, like very sexual energy, or this is the beginning of a wonderful new project, like a wonderful new creative project that you're beginning. And when I'm seeing these two cards in one reading, the two Aces, like the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, both showing up in the reading, it's telling me that whatever new beginning this has to do with, like a new creative venture, it will make you a lot of pentacles. It will make you incredibly, incredibly wealthy. It's going to multiply itself. The power of the two aces in one reading is incredible. Three is, in, is unimagined and four is just unheard of. Okay, so two aces in one 10 card reading is really, really, really special. So that's giving us more clues as to what how we can recognize what this really is. And they're both in the recent past and the far past. So it's like in the far past, you had an opportunity for, for big money, to make big money. And recently it's turned really creative. There's something really creative and new and novel about this. Like maybe, I don't know, but it's just something really creative and individual. It's very, very unique. I'm getting a lot of a, like a unique way to make money or something about this project or this job or this position is very unique to you, Scorpio. Very, very unique. This also has to do with closing out a major life cycle because they're, they're both, they both come right before the world and this wheel of fortune. I mean, I'm just going to show you really quick. This is what it looks like for me. If you can possibly imagine this. I mean, just on my table, it looks completely, and that's only like a, a little part of the, this isn't even like the whole reading. It just looks really, 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 really intense and really like intensely awesome though. Okay. Okay. Moving forward. So the next card that you can expect in this situation in the month of July, Scorpios, I'm connecting with a Scorpio who's going to be very anxious about this. Who's going to have some dark, maybe dark nights of the soul, but more just like kind of it's like unsettled mind. It's just like stress, like mental, mental unsettled, mentally unsettled, mentally just like staying up at night, just like wondering if this goes wrong, if that goes wrong, there's this I have to do, there's that I have to do, there's this boundary, there's that boundary. You know, it's just mental disturbance. It's a mental energetic disturbance for you, Scorpio. I'm connecting with a very mental Scorpio who's very much in there. I guess you guys are all like that though, right? Okay. So the role that you're currently playing, the part you're currently playing right now, Scorpio, someone's born November 11th. One of you Scorpios is born November 11th, but this could also be someone who's dealing with a property transaction or someone who's even contemplating something like a partnership. Okay. Someone, you know what, in the month of July, some of you could be getting married you could be buying a house with someone. You could be moving in with someone. You can be. They look so happy together though, don't they? <laughs> That's where you're currently sitting, Scorpio. You're currently sitting in this position of, I could buy a house with this person. I could move in with this person. Then I can have this person move in with me. I can enter into a committed relationship with this person. I can, or it's, um, professional partnership professional partnership that you're thinking about entering into with this person you're thinking about working with them you're thinking about building with them building something you know solid and substantial and this is also the signing of a contract so you could be signing contracts in the month of July cancer and I'm just going to say I'm hoping that it's 
something that you're coming back to because Mercury being retrograde is not the ideal time to sign contracts. It's great for negotiating, going back and forth, but just have all your lawyers look at everything because it could also just come down to human error. It could just be something that you you just need to make sure is in there that you need everyone needs to come and sit down and talk about everything and then sign on the dotted line. But it's better if it's something that was started when Mercury was direct or something from the past, it's a plus. If it's something from the past, it's even better. It's It'll go even better for you, Scorpio. So if there's an agreement that, or if this was already an agreement, or if this was something started long ago, or you know something that needs to be updated or something, an agreement that needs to be updated, anything legal is going to go in your favor. This is, this is very contractual, and it's going to go very well. It's going to lead to, you know, just like a happy scene, happy scenes, okay? the part that you're um, the role that other people see you in how other people see you Scorpio other people see you as having a change of perspective other people see you as Oh, they're thinking something different. The hanged man is suspended decision. So they could see you making up your mind about something, but the hanged man is really about enlightenment. And out of that enlightenment, he changes his perspective. So I'm really feeling like people are watching you change your mind about something. They, they're, Maybe it's boundaries. Maybe people, it's the people that you're erecting boundaries with. Maybe they see you with the boundaries and they're like, he never wanted boundaries before. She never cared about boundaries before. Now what caused this change in perspective? You know, now why did they change their mind? Now what's, you know, going on different or changing with the Scorpio? They were they were all always reliably one one way and now they're acting completely differently, completely out of character and what gives? Why is that? Why is Scorpio acting differently now? Why are they not reliably acting like they've always acted in the past what's going on but they can see that they are observe they are observing you um going through this change of perspective going through this change of mind they can see it happening because it's reflecting out in your actions and the things that you're doing the things that you're saying yes to and the things that you're saying no to and they're just like hmm okay your hope or your fear this is really interesting. It's almost like romantic. Your hope is definitely inspiration. You want the star. You want your own star or you want to be a star. This could be connected to this brand new beginning, this lucrative beginning. It's very inspiring to you and it's something that you want very badly. It's 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 also peace. It's also meditation. So it's like you could want peace of mind. In the month of July, Scorpios, you Scorpios could be really wanting and really needing a meditative routine or something or someone around you that just gives you peace, that just like calms your mind, calms your worried mind, this, the calm in your storm. This could be a person, it could be a place, it could be an activity, um, or it could be a form of art, like if you make, if you paint or something. But it's definitely what you want. It's your wish. Okay, I'm going to read you your outcome card and then your future environment card for the month of July covering these two crazy eclipses, Scorpio. And then we will pull connecting cards and zooming in cards and then the Divine Feather card for you. Okay, so the outcome card for the month of July... For the Scorpios, the Page of Pentacles, you are working hard at the, the small day-to-day, -day. it's not that it's day-to-day, -day. it's like <sighs> organizing, you're taking responsibility for little organizational things, you're organizing your life, you're organizing how you want things to be, it's like all of this, this is the result of everything coming in the front. I feel like the the next few weeks for you, 
Scorpios, oh my God. With this world and the wheel of fortune, anything you do will succeed. Let me just tell you that right now. They're telling me to tell you, oh my God, they just like came alive with me. Anything that you do, anything that you go after Scorpio, it will work. It will succeed. It will find success. You have a golden touch. You have like the magic touch. You have everything that you need to make this into a massive success, whatever this is. If it's a relationship, if it's um, a project, if it's a business, if it's a creative venture, if it's an a work of art, whatever this is, Scorpio, it will succeed. If you want to approach someone for backing, for financial backing, you will succeed in convincing them. If you want to offer, if you want to sign a contract with someone and you want to marry them, they will say yes and it will succeed and it will be a long, happy, fruitful marriage. And it will be because you've been upholding the boundaries and you know about boundaries and you're, you're, they just showed me dessert. Like I almost even said dessert. They're your dessert. This I feel like the star. Is this divine masculine, divine feminine stuff? Because now they're telling me that your wish, the star card is your wish. They're your dessert. And it's like the dessert after eating the meal and after. <sighs> that is so weird. It's like they are your dessert. But that's what they're telling me to tell you is dessert. They're your dessert after you do all this stuff, okay? And so that page of pentacles, the page of pentacles is really just kind of the, the, the nuts and bolts and the organizational part of bringing all of this into, into being, okay? So that's what you're doing come the end of July. It's like all the big changes happened and now you have to just, it's like hiring movers and moving someone in with you. It's like, I don't know, it's if you're starting a new project, it's hiring the people, it's interviewing people, it's like that whole thing. But you'll, it'll make sense. When you hear this, it'll make sense and you'll start thinking of a laundry list of things that you're going to have to do in order to um, physically make this, make this, let's see, make this, um, whatever adjustment this is, to make it work and to bring it about to come to pass. That's what you're going to be doing come the end of July. It's like... The after effects of these eclipses, like these eclipses are going to just dredge up a lot of karmic reward because you've been working so hard and you're, you have like the green light. I'm telling you, you have the cosmic green light Scorpio to go after what you want and get it and succeed and win in work, in family, in friendships, in partnerships, in love and in marriage, you will win and succeed in the month of July. That's a huge statement to make, but I can't see all this on my table and then tell you otherwise. So the cards say, I'm connecting with a Scorpio who has like the Midas touch, who has like the golden. I think this is a person. This is your wish card, your hope or your fear. This is someone, this is, they just told me the golden goose that lays the golden eggs. The goose that lays the golden eggs. This is a source of inspiration who's limitless. They have a limitless well of inspiration within them. They are limitless in the peace they can provide you. They are limitless in what they can offer you spiritually, emotionally. They just like never ending. Oh my God, I didn't even do the last card. So that's the result card. The end, the future environment card, Scorpio, for the month of July. You showed up in your own reading. How fancy. Death and destruction. You have to keep in mind that death has no relationship to what it's destroying and what will come after it when it leaves. It has no judgment. It has no... It's not personal. So the end result after the environment... After the end result card, this is your environment card, the future environment card, and it's a totally new life. It's a totally new world. It's a totally new life. It's an entirely new experience and an entirely new ex existence. Look at all these major arcana cards. You're so fancy. So it looks like this. Scorpios. Whoa. 
That's why when I laid these cards down, I thought, I can't even see my tongue. Ah, ah. <laughs> sorry, that was weird. Um, but yes, it's the brand. It's a whole new life. Your things will never be the same again. And it's for the better. It's for the, I okay, can't, I'm tired. I can't do this anymore. It's for the better that this is all happening because it's, it's like a long time coming Scorps. It's a long time coming. And it's, it's like, it's rewards for hard work won and a life well lived. And it's, you're going to be really happy after these, oh, now my dress is all kinds of messed up. Hold on. And now, hold on. I just have to fix this. Okay. Okay. Please excuse me cracking my bones. So this is a long time coming. This is something that just had to happen. This is something that a lot will be destroyed, but if it's not meant to survive, it won't. And it's just not meant to. You just have to let it die. And I, you're a Scorpio. You're going to be totally okay with that. You're going to be totally okay with letting... And, the, and part of that is because of the wonderful work that you're doing with your boundaries, Scorpio. You're doing so great with upholding your boundaries, protecting your boundaries, and advocating for yourself, advocating for your own sense of boundaries, of no, my anger has a place, and it's alerting me of when you're encroaching on my boundaries, and you need to just like back off, back off, back off, back off, okay? And the cosmos is taking note. The cosmos is looking at you doing all of this. There could be travel involved. You could be traveling. It could be like a world, a whirlwind of world tour. You could be, I mean, major, major success, major, major mm, colossal success here, whatever this is. Now, remember the aces are like the seeds of germination. So there's something that's like not quite ready to be public, but that you're super working on. And it's what you are wanting to commit to right now. You want to like commit to th this. And then by the end of July, you're going to be, you're already starting to work on it. Like little by little, you're chipping away at it to like organize all of this coming together here. Okay. I want to pull some clarifiers and some connecting cards for you now, Scorpio. Okay. Give me a second here. Hold on. I just got dizzy. That was weird. I want to see what you're anxious about. This is what's coming up next for you. The next energy that you can expect. What are you anxious about? In the month of July, I'm connecting with a Scorpio who after the wheel of fortune turns, after the world, after the karma, after it's like a really successful accomplishment. And why is it stressing you out then? Then why is it stressing you out? That's what I wanted to know. And it's like emotional confusion and it's creativity. It could be that you have so many creative directions to go in and you just don't know which one to choose. And it's like, oh, I want to do this. I want to do this. I want to do this. And it's like, because this is, in, this is very creative. Let's pull one more for this one, please. Um, a clarifier for the Nine of Swords and the Moon card for Scorpio in July. Okay, temperance, balance, peace, meditation. You're going to overcome this. This is going to, this is the surface problem that you're going to have a problem maybe concentrating or you're just going to be really stressed out. Stressed out about how you feel, stressed out about your emotional well-being, stressed out about creative options that you have, creative directions that you can take in your life, either romantically or in business or you know, in the work, whatever that has to do with, but then you're going to come, you're going to find your peace. You're going to find your temperance, the angel of balance and forgiveness and enlightenment and peace is going to find you and you're going to be okay. You're going to balance your cups until they're just right. And you're going to be okay, Scorp. Okay. You just need some time alone. You just need some, your own to deal with it. That's all. Okay. So that's good. I like that. 
Okay, what should we do next? I have a few minutes left. Let me see. Let me just tune in here. Business or love? Let's let's zoom in on the four of staves. Business or love? You might want to watch the Capricorn monthly reading, Scorpio, because I think you both came up in each other's reading. What did I just ask? I just asked if this had to do with work or love work or love and very obviously this has to do with love because there's the Capricorn card okay but in all, in all honesty this could be control it could be that you need to offer someone a marriage contract to control the situation and you really need to look at the I would cross watch because Scorpio came up super heavy in the Capricorn monthly and now Capricorn's coming up in the zooming in of this union if it's love or if it's work it could be both it could be both so i'm going to highly recommend that you cross watch the capricorn video because it could apply here a lot of scorpio capricorn power couples okay at the very least this is having to do with getting control of a contractual agreement and that you scorpio need to you do i'm i, I Please don't make a judgment on when I say control, like you need to control something. It's it's not a negative. You do need to have control over this contractual agreement. There's something that's moving forward. And remember what I said about Mercury retrograde with contracts, like you do need to go and really make sure, go through it with a fine tooth comb and make sure that everything is in order. Make sure everything is, is, is appropriate and serving your best interest and serving everyone's best interest. You know, a good entering into a partnership should be about you know a good faith business collaboration where you are both you know doing doing the right thing here so let's just let's just give everything like the benefit of the doubt but it could also be entering into a marriage contract with a capricorn entering into partnership with the capricorn or capricorn energy if it's not a capricorn specifically it's someone who has great self-control over themselves that you can trust you know it's like you can't trust someone who can't control themselves because they're unreliable you can't trust them you you want me to trust you with this big opportunity you want me to trust you with all this responsibility and you can't even control yourself are you kidding me why would i do that why would I enter into partnership with you if you can't even control yourself, let alone control your portion of this project? I don't think so. It's like that. You need to, you're going to want to enter into a partnership with someone that you can trust, that does have good self-control. They can control their feelings. They can control their energies. They can control their tongue. They can control their mindset, their perspectives. And that's who you're going to be leaning on. And that's who's going to actually could help you defend these boundaries because this is someone who understands the boundaries. This is someone who will honor your boundaries. These are not, the devil card is about control. It's about controlling someone else or being controlled by something else. Drugs, sex, orgasms, shopping, food, alcohol, everything, you know, everything, like all the vices. That's why they show up like the devil card so scary, but it's really about controlling the self. And when you control the self, you control the outer world. And that's who this is for you. This is, you're, you're, you wanting, you are wanting to enter into a partnership or move in with, or, you know, live with someone. This could be property too. You could be buying property with a Capricorn, but it's someone that you're going to want someone that you can trust, that you can rely on. And that is, this energy here because this person is also great at controlling themselves and so that inspires trust in you okay I'm running out of time here I'll just pull one connecting card between the page of Pentacles and this beautiful death card just really quick da, da, da. Okay, it's the returns of king from 300. 
that's the victory march or you know whatever your victory song is between the page of pentacles you totally your victory so you're going to win everything you are going to win it all scorpio in the month of july these eclipses are great for you they everything works in your favor you get you get the coin you get the pentacles you get the money you get the creative venture you get the leadership opportunity you get to close out major karmic cycles you get to turn the wheel of fortune to bring you to the very top and you get a trusty partner in the capricorn energy that you can this is where you're currently sitting so they're right with you this card right here is the role that you are currently playing so it could be an 11 11 it could be a november 11th scorpio if that resonates that's extremely specific, so that's definitely not going to resonate with everybody. But then you can also have a Capricorn sitting with you that is very like your ride or die. They're very much committed. They're very much your partner in all of this, okay? So they will help you. I would lean on the Capricorn. If you are having anxiety, if you're having any anxiety and emotional confusion and, the, and you know, you're going to find the peace, you're going to find the balance, but sitting with you as a Capricorn in your, in your sphere, and I would lean on them and reach out to them and communicate with them and, you know, they could help you get to your star or they are your star, whatever, however it resonates, but that's your wish and I'm happy to say in the month of July, Scorpios, your wish does come true. So just don't be afraid, don't fret, don't stress out about it, you don't need to. And you'll realize that as the month goes on. You'll realize that as the month goes on that you don't need to stress so much. Okay, just super quick. I spoil you guys. I always give you guys like the longer readings. Really quick. What divine message, divine feather message do we have for our Scorpios for the month of July? Of course, you get two. Canary, I think you got this before. Step forward now and sing your song. There is power in finding your voice. That's absolutely the bottom of the deck card with upholding your boundaries. And I just picked that up and look what's beneath it. Oh, here, here we go. Look at these three cards beneath the bottom of the deck card. The bottom of the deck was upholding your boundaries. Upholding your boundaries leads to your 10 of cups happiness, your holy grail of relationships. It could be the um, Capricorn Scorpio. It could be. Take it as it resonates. And then your last Divine Feather card, Robin. New growth and potential is on the horizon. Reach out and embrace it. That's all you have to do is reach out and embrace it, Scorpio. It's right there. It's waiting for you. I'm telling you, you have the Midas touch. You can do anything in the month of July. Use your power wisely. You win. I'm just saying go forward with it because you can win. Lean on this Capricorn energy here. They will aid you in the month of July. The good Capricorns, the high evolved Capricorns will help you and add to your power and add to your strength. And they can be trusted with this partnership, whatever this has to do with. Okay, Scorps, I hope that you enjoyed this reading. And if it's really resonating, this feels really specific. So cross watch the Capricorn. But if it is resonating, feel free to book a personal reading with me so we can zoom in on your energy. I love reading Scorpio energy. It's really great. So I will see you next month. Otherwise, I will see you next week for the weeklies or in the dailies. Okay, Scorpio, take care. Bye.